Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at using rotate handles with the move feature and hidden geometry. Okay, I, I get that <laughs> that description I just threw out there seemed maybe cryptic and super specific, but uh, I wanted to show a tip that I actually learned off of our user forum. If you don't go there, forums.sketchup.com is a great spot to learn about SketchUp, ask questions, and spend time with people who are interested in SketchUp just like you. Um, but uh, there was a, a conversation going on about the move feature. When you use the move feature on a group or component, you get these little rotate handles that let you rotate around uh, the geometry. And somebody came up with a tool or, or a way to use those that I just felt like I had to share. So we're going to hop right in and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about and uh, hopefully find it cool, useful. Let's go. Okay, so here I have a clock. Um, this clock is made up of some, some groups or components. So I got a group right here, which is the main body, and then I have an hour hand and a minute hand. Now, let's say I want to come in and I want to set the time here. So uh, say I want this hour hand pointing at the two. What I would probably do is I would do something like this. I would draw a line here, draw a line here to figure out where the middle of this hand is. And then I could rotate like this, grab that middle hand, grab the point, and then swing the point around so it's around the two. I'm not using, I, could, I mean, I don't know where this, exactly where the snap points are here, but I just kind of maybe come out this far so I can get it generally pointed at the two. I'll say we're going for 215, so I can grab this. I'm going to assume that they are lined up and use that same point to rotate to go here. Uh, should I'm grabbing the end point? Nope. There we go. And then bring that around to the three. And now I have this geometry, which I'd want to come in and raise. So well, that wasn't painful, but that's not a great way to go about it. It's not quick. It's not easy. Um, well, okay, it wasn't hard, but uh, I, I want to show you another option. I'm just going to hit undo a couple times and go back to what I had before. And we're going to slide over here. It's like a cooking show. Here's the completely baked blue clock. All right, so same thing here. I have one group here, and then I have another group here for the hour hand and a group here for the minute hand. Now you'll notice big difference, right? If I select the minute hand over here, look at where the container ends, right at the bottom of that point. If I select the minute hand here, it goes all the way over here. So what this lets me do is when I grab move, so if I select any, any group, any component, any object, and I hit the move command, when I hover over the container, so as soon as my cursor crosses into this blue box, I get these red handles. These red handles let me click and immediately start rotating whatever is selected. This is nice. So a couple things happen here. Uh, one, if, if I'm just rotating a piece, you can see this, this makes it super easy. One of the things that this does, which is really nice, depending on the model you're working on, is it rotates around the very center of the component box. So anytime something is selected, it's always going to be inside this box, this six-sided container, which means it's real easy for SketchUp to figure out what's the exact center of this box. And then with that, allow me to rotate around that center point. So this is different from if I use rotate. So if I grab rotate and I wanted to spin this clock, I'd have to say, okay, pick a point to rotate from and then pick a direction, then pick a handle, and then I'm rotating around that point. This is not that. When I'm in move, I'm always rotating just around the center. So if you didn't know that, then, you know, happy birthday. That's a great tool to have. Um, but it doesn't always work perfectly. So if I come here to this, this hand right here, I go into move. When I grab it and go to spin it, it's see, again, it spins around the middle of that component. So if I try to do the same thing and point to two, and then grab this one, use move and rotate that to three. It, obviously, that's not working, right? So I'm gonna undo a couple times there, put those back. Enter hidden geometry. So check this out. If I select this hour hand and I go to move and I come hover over, I get this and I can go boom, two. 
In fact, I could even do that without pre-selecting at all. So out here, nothing is selected. I go to move. I just come hover over, grab that handle, go to three. I want to change that to 630. 630. Super quick, super easy. If you ever have content like this, you need to pose for renders, for working models, whatever. It's an awesome tool to have. You can specify that center. And here's how it's done. If I go to view and I turn on hidden geometry, you see some little hidden lines inside each component. See this? So if I draw a line right here, the length from here to the point and the length from here to here is exactly the same. What that does then is that makes the container that's created, puts the center of that container right at the middle of this piece right here. It's not, it's not centered this direction because I don't need it to be. It's just centered in this, this top view. So when I come in here to rotate around, around the green, it spins in that spot exactly, making it super quick and easy to make that change. So if I wanted to do that to my green clock over here, if I double click in here, all I gotta do, draw a line right here, that sets the, the horizontal middle, and then I'll draw a line from there straight up to here. Now I can grab this line, rotate it, I'll turn my modifier on to make a copy, and there we go. Now, just delete these pieces, and then this piece right here I wanna actually hide. So I'm gonna hold down the Shift key to go into hide and get rid of that line. So I didn't get rid of, it's still there. My hidden geometry's on so I can still see it. If I turn off hidden geometry, now when I pick it, look at that, it goes bigger. So now if I come hover over it with move, same as the blue clock, I'm spinning right around the middle of that piece right there. So it was, it's fairly quick and easy, um, but if you have anything like that, I, I've, I remember building models where I had something that had to spin around a point and creating geometry, you know, like uh, an elbow joint or something like that, where I had these lines sticking out. And I knew if I grabbed that component, hit rotate, I could zoom in and use that end of that line as the point that I would rotate around. Um, yeah, that's doable. But after doing this, man, th this is this is pretty cool. And I, I've never thought of this before. So, I wanna, you know, thank you for him for bringing that to my attention. Uh, so super easy way to make those changes. If you have something like, you know, that needs to be updated, like I said, in your model for renders, if it's a, uh, you know, I want to rotate the end of a crane. I want to I want to update a clock for a render. Hey, different times of day are going to have different times of day. A morning render is going to have a different clock than an evening render. Uh, so hopefully this is something that you can implement into some of your workflows and uh, hopefully it's a time saver for you. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, please leave us a comment. We love when people tell us about how they're using SketchUp and we can include it in content like this. We like making videos a lot, but can even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.